this particular chapter of Jacob is a helpful reminder that God is not only in our lives when they're going well, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, the point of the parable is the vineyard struggles and things go bad, right? The trees get overgrown. They start to have problems. And that's where the Lord's work comes, right? Is those moments where you need to rush in and intervene. And whether that's mm -hmm. dig around the roots and get some fertilizer, whether it's this tree is struggling, let me just take a part off and put it somewhere else, find a new environment uh, where someone can thrive better. All of those are part of a story. And that's what I love about this. Is, this is the story of trying to save a vineyard, trying to save trees, both collectively, right, the whole thing, but also individual pieces. And so a number of times in here, uh, I think seven or eight, it talks about the master says he, he grieveth for his vineyard because he wants to save every tree. And I think that's what makes this a really unique allegory, talking about trees, trees that have a long lifespan. It's not just one crop, the crop failed, I'm done, I'm gonna move <laughs> on, I'm gonna plant a new crop. This is working with these trees. And, and for me, when we lose trees and we have a lot of trees blow over, it's it, it's sad. And I think anyone would see that if you have a, a tree in the backyard or a favorite ornamental tree, or this is their livelihood. And all of trees, like it's talking about here, they're going to respond to more irrigation. They're going to respond to fertilizer and things like that, but they also respond to pruning. I think a lot of times that's counterintuitive. That you're going to take a tree and you're going to cut back, many times even healthy wood. I've had many conversations with my wife where we've looked back and we've looked at the hard times in our, in our lives, in our marriage, and looking back, my wife and I would not trade those experiences because it's what shaped us. It's what made us become more productive. And that's what you do when you prune a tree, is you're going to cut back some of its current growth to set it up for future success.